Carl, get me. I'm probably gonna have about a half inch between this and the radiator. closer and closer on this D2900 rebuild. Uh, today, for this episode, seeing the title, it's going to be the front conversion kit. Uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, pretty fun. I, did, I have cleaned up a lot of the gunk that's built up all around the whole front. It just caked really bad. Uh, there's gonna be some more cleaning done on it, uh, along with the rest of the motor. Now I can paint it, make it match the rest I have already done. All right, GC. Here's the whole front assembly. Like, guess it takes. 5 eighths. Seems like it's 9 sixteenths. We'll get to that when we get to it. Uh, but we're gonna pull this water pump pulley off, pull the water pump off, pull this harmonic balancer pulley off, and I'll probably be putting a 190 XT balancer on it because this is gonna be a little too wide. And this here has the three belt system. All I need two. So that's definitely going to be getting with the 190 XT balancer. Uh, and then this whole front cover is going to come off. Well, you can do the easy way knocking this uh, wire pump pulley off, or you can do like what I'm going to do grab a wrench and just take the bolts off the water. Oh, you know what's neat about them? Springtime, grass is out, man. The birds chirping, and get spring showers, smell the honeysuckle just a blowing. Hey, you get these wood barrels to come in. Hey, you can take your old handy dandy hat here and see how far orbit you can knock. Out. Hey, you just save your wood when you crush it.
Oh, I might try to beat it off, or take a hammer, try to beat it off a little, or to see where it get me. Probably bars. Come back out. It kind of got me nowhere. Yeah. So, I got a rock balancer, so I went to go get it to use it. Can't find it. So I was like, well, I'll borrow one at work. Couldn't find it. So I went to O'Reilly's to rent one. Don't have it. So I looked on the shelf. Found one. Yeah, it ain't the prettiest thing, but it works. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out. Clean these old threads out here. Yep. Alright, well, got the harmonic bouncer called uh, that cheap old puller I bought from O'Reilly's. Yeah, I think it was it was just cheap. I kind of ended up beating it off. I didn't want to show that part. That don't recommend y'all doing that. Uh, but it just something I had to do to get it off because that O'Reilly brand it failed me. So next, we'll go ahead and get to these other bolts here on the front cover and start taking them off. Gear, got your cane gear, which on these 
uh, 200s. Yeah. They got where you got a bolt. You can actually remove the gear off. The 190 XT Series 3s. There's another one like them. Not 185s, but there's another one like them. There's just pressed on there. Those, they're, yeah, they're nightmare. Alright. So now, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up and uh, bar brushed up real good. And we might even go ahead and get the injection pump mounted on here too while I'm at it. Alright, now I got the timing cover. We got it off of the motor. I went there and did a little something different on it. I'll show you all here in a little bit, but first we're going to go ahead and knock this seal out. Got the old seal out. See, I went there and polished her up. Yeah, it does have a little busted spot there. Uh, I just smear a little silicone on the back. Be fine. Alright, got the new one. You want to remember how it goes in place. <clears throat> and groove here on the inside, it goes on the inside. That's a uh, part here. It's enclosed. Goes on the outside. So now I need me a board. And a paper towel. A hammer or anything. I just need to go a little bit deeper. Alright, we got our new seal. I'm going to clean her up real good. and Let's see about gasking her up. and Oh. I can get this tractor pump gear in too. Alright, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get my timing marks lined up here. wherever they may be. I'm not seeing nothing. I'm going to spare some oil on the... Yeah. Better yet. Put some assembly lube on it. Well, got my gasket here. 
Next, I'm going to go ahead and start smearing some RTV. I just kind of go along the inside here. And this thing got wet again. start on the oil cooler here. Don't mind the frogs. They are just everywhere. So on this oil cooler, you got your oil cooler. Right close up here. Uh, uh, really see it that well, but Then you got your two pipes. And then you want to get. I got me some extra stick, about like 19 inches, but I got extra because I got another oil cooler I got to redo, namely myself. Well, for myself. So first, we're gonna go ahead and. Cut off sections here. So if you're old one, so you can have a reference. How big you want it. All right. Get yourself a piece here. Right. Start fitting them together. Try to get your system two hose plants needs to go from inch and 13 sixteenths to two and three quarters. So you got your two and an eight inch hose. I want to fit this how it's going to go on the tractor. Thank you. 
that it just keeps regular. So first, you need to get your flat sided hole ring gasket go right here. My man was a little sore, so I had it like really stretchy. So what I did, I put it on this can here. I left it sitting there for a few days. I just have a mess with it. Usually a good idea about an extra pack of, or about like a pack of these hose clamps. But if you're going to buy them individually, buy a couple of extra. And then that way, if you strip one out, or one's already like weak anyways, you can uh, you just go ahead and replace it and not drive all the way back in town or dig around looking for a hose clamp. You got an extra. If not, nothing's more worse than wasting your time on looking for a little old hose clamp. When you could just go ahead and grab one, stick it on there, get to go. All right, got that on there. And I need to find the Well, I'll load up the torque sheet for the torque meat bolts and stuff, so I'll put it down here too, what the torque is on these bolts. Hey, on the timing cover, there's the torque on those. Uh, oh, and your harmonic bouncer, bully boat. Here's the torque on that. Alright, so we got that part done. Now on to the next. Just to 
What I do with that boat? There it is. It's still kind of tacky, so I'm kind of I got the water pump on there now, so I can pump water. For the motor. Then <sighs> next will be this little guy. He'll go on next. I'll find a gasket for it. Alright, well I got some silicone rubbed on it down here. And you notice this gasket here. It uh, it's got kind of like where it's rounded here, and then it's more squared off here. There you go. So, you want to make sure, keep that in mind, so you need to line that up. With how it's supposed to go, which is supposed to go like this right here. Oh yeah. And next I'll need my little handy dandy bolts. Yeah, I didn't really clean up and paint the bolts on this. Because I've taken way too much time out wire brushing everything on it and polishing the front timing cover which I got another one I'm gonna probably wire brush it on my spare time when I ain't working on anything and that way it won't be kind of like a rush thing that's kind of holding me up you know what these bolts ain't fitting these the wrong ones. Who might use these? Yeah, because they're a lot more prettier. And anyway, one thing I didn't take in mind, I won't be able to use an impact cuter. So we'll get started at least. Now my Bronco, it's, it came with a missing uh, radiator, but that don't matter anyways, because for one thing, I'm going to get one that's a little thinner, and uh, also too, I'm going to have the electric fan kit on it, which might be putting it in... spacer they got these stupid aluminum spacers that go on here and uh, aluminum and steel don't ever mix and, uh, and you all kind of see some of the damage from 
using a gear puller and pulling it off, but didn't really have a choice. Okay, that's about the only way I could get it off. I don't know, I might put it on here, maybe try to straighten it off of here. Or I might, I got another one somewhere, but I don't know where. I need to find it, but now the radiator, uh, I don't know if I already mentioned, but the radiator, I'm going to get a aluminum one that's going to be a little thinner. It's got an electric fan on it, so I ain't got to worry about the fan and sticking out of here and being in the way because I got a belt. Let's see what the pulley here. And that plate. I'd say I got about 39 and a half inches to the end of this here. But as far as the harmonic bouncer is, I got about I'd say about 37 inches. Alright, what? Third and measured the doghouse. I mean, I'm going to have to do a little fabricating to get the radiator in there, but it's going to be probably about, I'm probably going to have about a half inch between this and the radiator, so. And then the electric fan, I'm going to have it kind of like right in here, so it'll be kind of out of the way of everything. It's one of those ones that don't really have a shroud on it, just got a fan that blows through and they're just zip tied onto the radiator because that's probably going to be about the only option I got but yeah make it work there's a will there's a way I'm not will but I'm looking to get my way somehow made it thus far. Alright, next we're going to take the thermostat house. I got it cleaned up, ready to for my old thermostat here. Bro, been sitting in the barn. That in there like so. You want to take your gasket. None of these or that one. Alright. Take your silicone. Uh, dries up no matter what. There we go. You take it. Smear it on here. Now I'm going to smear it all around. Still tacky. The paint. Paint still tacky. Yeah. All right. That's I'm gonna take my gasket. Stuff sticking to my paint. Put your indices on your bolts here. Especially when your lock washer falls off and you don't realize it until you get the boat on there. Okay, next, I'm going to put silicone on the block here. It's a little more like it. Alright. Just 
slip that under there. Alright, well, as you can see, we got our bolted on there. Got this hose hooked up here to the water pump. Uh, after that, just need the radiator, the radiator hoses. We'll get to that when we get it. And then also too, your uh, block heater. Or you can put a plate on. It. I'm gonna put a block heater on it because you might need it. And next, we'll do the fuel system and oil journal the oil system. Uh, I got the oil filter base over here. I got the injectors are soaking in some diesel fuel right now. Uh, we'll be pressure testing them. So that about have it on this video here. Till next time, stay tuned. Thanks for watching Farm Pirate TV and hope you enjoyed the show. Oh be sure to subscribe and like my videos. Too, that because the more subscribers we get the more that uh, we can uh, I get further on this project and other projects later on so y'all like watching this stuff just be sure to subscribe like share comment because more you help the more it'll help me do these projects for y'all for future videos so until next time, stay tuned and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Farm Fire TV.